Exorcist? Yeah. The Extortionist? The, the Exorcist has a theme? Yeah. It's like, it's like, uh, it's really close to Halloween's. It's, it's like, uh, it's got like the same, like, cadence. Okay. It's like, now I have to hear it. It's super close. And while Dane. Dane? <laughs> Dane, Dane Cook, the Sponge yeah. Johnson. Well, well, Dane minus W. <laughs> and a few other letters. While Dwayne looks up copyrighted music, um, <laughs> welcome to the next episode of the Board and Scale podcast. Next episode. You have three of us. I play that. Damn, dude, that hits. That's, that's The Exorcist? Yeah. Yeah, if you played that for me and didn't tell me, I would have been like, do the Michael Myers one. And don't do the, the funny Michael Myers one. <laughs> There's a funny one? I don't know what you're talking about. Austin Powers. Oh. Yeah. Mike Myers. Sorry. Come on. Dude, that's some copyright infringement shit. That's Close. gotta be. It's close. Like, it, there's a difference, you can tell. Yeah. Like, like if you played, tone. I could tell, but, but dude, that's it's just, close. That's like the Vanilla Ice, like, like their song goes like, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> and our song goes, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Still one of the funniest videos of all time. What? There's an actual, that's literally, like, there's a video from back in the day, because Vanilla Ice got, you know, taken to court or whatever. For Who's that. Vanilla Ice? Oh, Ice Spice? This just jizzed in my eye. <laughs> Damn, this is the Skibbity Toilet <laughs> episode. <laughs> no, so this, I mean, this video is from like the 90s or whatever, or maybe even like the 80s, and he's literally sitting there like with uh, somebody's interviewing him, and he's like, no, nah. he's like, our songs are totally different. Like their song goes, bomb, 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 bomb. Bom 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 bom. Well, Queen is the is the one yeah. that they're copying, and he's like, no, but ours is totally different. It goes bom 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 bom. <laughs> Under pressure. It's boom re- boom clap. It's, yeah. It's, what? No, different song. Queen has more than one song. <laughs> yes. You can't. No, Queen is not one of those. <laughs> no. Name three Queen songs. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Under pressure. Under pressure. Uh, we will rock you. And Honestly, kind of a garbage regular song. Is is uh, it only we are works the in the locker queen? room? I don't know. I'm not a Queen fan. I'm pretty sure it's Queen. That's, That's three. Probably. That's three. You can't hey. Pretty sure. We are the champ. That's Queen. That's got to be right. I'm pretty sure that's Queen. You're the historian, dude. Did you get this wrong? <laughs> music history. Come on, man. We are. Did they have music the... back in Roman times. They didn't. We were very austere people. That it must is suck, the first dude. guy in box back then. Imagine dude. not having music. Queen. Imagine not having music. Bro, that would suck. That's why they just yeah. People have been clapping cheeks since day one. There's always been music. Dude, the first guy to beatbox back then, they were like wizard. <laughs> just yapped all day. <laughs> they just, bro, they're just philosophers, talking. bro. Their they, whole they had day their own consisted podcast of talking. Back then, they were like, they were like, they just got high and fucking talked about space. Doth, doth you. <laughs> Doth the doth the weareth the laurel upon your head <laughs> as a symbol of victory? <laughs> hmm. Two branches of a symbol of peace equate to one of victory. I don't fucking know, dude. That That's was actually pretty fucking poetic, dude. Yeah, That's that was, what they that did. That nice. was on point, dude. Do they use olive branches for laurel wreaths, or is that a flower? And I'm saying literally two different plants. <laughs> <laughs> it's a laurel. Is that not just or a type of no, Laurel is a type of... <laughs> <laughs> a what? Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Board and Scale podcast, <laughs> Battle of the Games. Board and Scale's first ever snake video. It's another vendor spotlight. That the penguin's the only one with any character. What you're likely to hatch when you mix certain genetics. Okay, for real, we're starting the show. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to this episode of the Board and Scale Longest podcast. cold open of all time. For real. <laughs> um, today you have all of us here, and we're going to talk about a very current event thing-ish that is going on right now, and that's going to be the Olympics. Break dancing in the Olympics. <laughs> but first, Ooh. we're going to go with our highlights. So, mm-hmm. Kavandrius, would you like to start us off? Quacks. Quacks of Quedlinburg. 
I uh, I I did get the game through a. Uh, well, let me tell the story because uh, was it North Star Games? Yes, but let me interrupt his story real quick. First oh. of all, he bought he has Quacks the big box version of the game. <laughs> I was like, awesome, cool. I don't need to bring my copy out for any reason at all. Mm-hmm. Opens a box, starts pulling pieces out. He has the and I'm sorry if you also have these. He has the cardboard tokens. Yep. And I don't know if you've played Quacks. And if you're someone like me, my hands get a little bit clammy. Digging into that bag in round seven and eight <laughs> tokens sticking to your fingers <laughs> is ridiculously annoying. So we have the geek up bits and I had to bring them out. Yeah. No. So straight up, like I didn't know if I wanted to buy the geek up bits because it adds up. I mean, because you have to buy the base set for like 40 bucks. The wi- expansive. Expansive. They are expensive. Um, like the the witches expansion for the fifth player and everything is like another like 30 bucks. And then if you want to get the bags and the bot, like the totes and stuff like it, was a, it, it, it adds up. So I wanted to know if I liked the game or not. I didn't know you had a copy. I had no idea that he had one or that he had the geek up bits. I was like, I just want to table the game. I want to see if it's any good. If I enjoy it to decide if I want to upgrade it because I knew I was going to buy the geek up beats for beats. <laughs> beats <laughs> for We're talking about music. So yeah. he's in a producer mode right now. Uh, I wanted to buy the, the, the bits for Orléans. And I was like, I don't want to. I want to save on shipping, so um, so we played. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it, uh, and I went out, immediately went home and bought the geek up bits and the boxes and the bags. And they all came yesterday, so very excited. But yeah, it's a fun game. Uh, my only complaint, I think it's the game is what North Star Games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So how I acquired this game? So I backed. Fist of the North Star Games? Yeah. I backed Daybreak, uh, their cooperative uh, ecology game about uh, saving the planet from from humans and their pollution. And um, if you know anything about it, when the board games, because it was like the, the game was no waste, no plastic, all cardboard, uh, all paper components and everything like that. Which we love as gamers. <laughs> um, and they're... Their answer to not having shrink wrap was to have these like little plastic uh, or uh, stickers um, to hold the, the the board lid on, and just I'm guessing they just couldn't account for the like humidity and heat and like the process or whatever, and so like the stickers as you were taking the stickers off like there was really bad bubbling uh, underneath, and I think again probably because these boxes were exposed to the elements like in hot ass connexes as they cross the ocean or whatever the seams on a lot of the boxes started to crack and break. So they offered everybody, they said, hey, like we'll send you a new box lid. We'll either give you 15 bucks. You can just tell us about it and we'll not give you anything if you're feeling generous or we'll give you a 25% off coupon at their store. I was like, well, let me see what they've got. So, because I didn't realize who they were or what are the games they made. So they make Taverns of Tiefenthal and um, Quacks were the two games I was interested in. So I took the coupon and I bought both of those games and the expansion content for them because it was, you know, 25% off. So we played Taverns of Tiefenthal like two or three weeks ago. And I opened the box to get ready for it. And guess what? Missing stuff. No. Same problem on the box. Oh, Even though same? it was literally like it was a it was a game that it was in shrink wrap and everything. Yeah, like literally the like, whole seam on the box lid was cracked. Weird. Like completely. So I was like, all right, well, hot glue, not hot glue, uh, gluga, super glue. Gluga. Gluga. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is, this is a, we don't, you know, we don't, I, I put gluga. <laughs> gluga. <laughs> uh, so use my, my tool, the gluga whale. <laughs> <laughs> this is not funny. <laughs> <laughs> At any rate. So fixed the fixed it up as best as it could, or whatever. And I was like, wow, what I what irony, right? That the game that I got as part of a replacement, you know, because of the the broken box, also had a broken lid. And then opened up my my big box for Quedlinburg, and same thing, literally same spot on the box. The whole thing was cracked open. I was like, all right, this is great. So North Star Games, a if you're gonna buy one. Be aware that you might have some problems with the box lids. Two North Star games make better boxes. That'd be great. So that was. I wonder. I wonder what the problem is if it's so consistent, or if it's just something a problem with you. 
It could be me. <laughs> they go, sir, how are you opening the box? And, and he's like, he just like, here's how I do it. He grabs the sides and he's just like, <laughs> you fold them up, right? <laughs> just gnawing on the boxes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so your yeah. highlight was that you had three broken boxes. Yeah. Cool. But I did enjoy Quacks. So it's a good game. It's fun. Mario right, Duenio? Quacks was really good. I forgot about that. I'm not going to lie. Um, oh, who won? Me. That's weird. Yeah. I wonder why it was really good. I've played it before that, and I knew I liked it. Anyway, that is not mine. Mine. <laughs> I was bouncing back and forth. Um, but yesterday, yesterday got me. All my trouble. Oh, Damn. Did it? It was going to be Trio. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to you. It was going to be Trio. Um, but it's Kemet. Oh, Kemet, Blood and Sand. It is as dudes on a map area control as you can get. Um, you're, it's it's Egypt themed. You have a faction. All the factions are the same. However, you have access to these power tiles that you can buy that do various things for your faction. Either give your troops movement or make them stronger, make them hit harder. You can buy monsters to help like uh fights and things like that and i really like it because it's it's just aggressive it's straight aggression like just fighting it's just fighting like there's no there's nothing like there's no like it's not like rising sun where it's like hmm would you like to be an ally no knock to rising sun i really like rising sun would you like to be my ally hmm if i move across the ocean this way i'll have more power in this area and then no <laughs> kemet is straight up <clears throat> i'm gonna go in here i'm gonna beat the shit out of you <laughs> um there is no such thing as sharing areas if you walk into an area you're gonna fight and whoever loses is gone they bounce uh so that's why i really like it I don't have to think about anything but just going in and fighting. And it's like the only thing that I don't know is what card you're going to play. Everybody has the same hand of cards. Um, but that's it. Like I know how much, like I know what power you're at. I know all that yada, 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 yada. Kemet. I've had it for years and I've never played it. I played it for the first time yesterday and I, I liked it a lot. Never played the original. I don't know how much different it is. Probably. I'm done. Some. It was, uh, well, I wanted to like the game. We, the group had issues. You guys have heard this story before, you know. <laughs> um, all right, so my highlight is actually going to be the other day. I met a new friend. Um, Why'd you point at me? As it's a... Uh, oh. Person. A person who is a friend. Uh, that I got to meet uh, for the first time, and she came over, and we played to play games, and we played seven games in one day, which was it is seven. I thought it was six. Which is the most you amount. You played Ark Nova when you left. Oh yeah, when you guys left. Oh, so you played. So we one played more. six games with y'all, and mm -hmm. we played one more us three. So I played a total of, we played a total of seven games in one day, which, for me, is the most games in a day. I've played in probably years. Um, and even though they weren't exactly like the most strategic games, they were still cool, good, like fun games to play. So I had a really good time. Uh, it was We just played here at my house too, so I was comfortable all day and just got to hang out and, you know, have a little uh, like charcuterie board version of board games and just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But not this. the actual charcuterie. But not the actual charcuterie board game, board game which I'm sure is is decent also. <laughs> it looks cool at least. But yeah, that's my highlight. Oh, Dwayne is oh, looking at day. me. The day is your highlight. Yeah. The whole oh, day. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the whole day. I I didn't know if you were like going towards a certain game or not. No. No. Forgot about Dice. I like Dice Manor a lot actually. That was a lot of fun. It was yeah. unique. Yeah. yeah, I like it a lot too. A different type of bidding. I don't know. I think part of it too is is that like, and it's probably the same thing for Quacks because like, 
the irony is, is that like some of the reasons I don't love like Wonderlands were, which we played and I actually enjoyed more the second time I played it, um, where like you're drawing from your bag and you're not necessarily drawing the same stuff mm-hmm. and because there's bad stuff in the bag. Every time you go to a round, you could potentially draw just the bad stuff. Um, you just, just don't take it that seriously. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's like, it's not that serious of a game. Just have fun. Just pull stuff out. Have a good time. Yeah. And uh, and go with it. And that's and, where like Dice Manor was the same thing. Like, this isn't that serious. Like, you can try to win and, you know, right? Sure. But at the end of the day, whatever. Just roll and die. You yeah. know, and you get, you just take some joy in when, when the luck is rolling in your favor. Yeah. You know? But yeah, that's my highlight. And that'll be it for our highlights and for the show today. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. Um, so, as many of you know, and like I alluded to earlier, the Olympics is going on right now. And what? we had. <laughs> the Olympics is a competition in which many, the many countries that exist it's around the world. It's unfortunate that they don't like. All like 13 big countries. Big naked men oil wrestle each other anymore. Seriously. Do you actually know why they stopped being naked? <laughs> Probably a plethora of reasons. <laughs> it's be- well, no, it's because. It's basically, it's like wrestler's herpes, basically, where it's like you get it from skin to skin contact. How scary would it be if Isaiah walked on the mat, <laughs> dude? Like, I got to fight two fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, but no, because that, that, that's part of, it's part of the way in, dude. He's not going to be your friend anymore. <laughs> Actually, though, do you think that that's got to put him at a disadvantage, though, right? Because it's part of the weight, right? So he's got less muscle mass, right? Because of that. That's a muscle. It is, but it's not one you're going to use. Were well, people allowed to, like, <laughs> mess with it? Like, was that strategy? Like, <laughs> just go in real quick and just. I that's doubt actually it. a really good question. Yank on it? I don't know enough about ancient Greek wrestling. Yeah, well, now I have to edit out this podcast because <laughs> there's too many implications here <laughs> through nope. this segment of it. Nope. Dude, this is historical. Yeah. But what it's I thought. It's educational. What I thought was interesting is aside from the fact that wrestlers got herpes from wrestling <laughs> each other, um, just in general, the thought of competing in different. Uh, events, right? And we talked about earlier how there are certain events that are very subjective, Mm -hmm. like pretty much anything that is like judged is subjective, right? Gymnastics. There's an art category of the Olympics, which I just learned. And I only recently learned that and even thought about why that's a thing is because they added breakdancing to the Olympics. Yeah. And it's not like the Red Bull B-Boy breakdancing where they can like make rude gestures and listen and like have cool music playing the music feels very like elevator stuff anyways it's art damn, damn. <laughs> I, wouldn't let that one, I wouldn't let that one go <laughs> anyways art style right and i was thinking what if you could do in like in a board game olympics right what kind of events would you do one that i talked about the other day was um, maybe picking a game or maybe a set of games where the competitors can choose. And then you have like, I don't know, a minute to stack up all of the components, like as far as you can. Like knockout. The basketball game? No, knockout. Oh. The, um, the combat game that we played, you and I did, where... Like you gain, you yes. gain combat, you gain wound yes. cubes, and then when you get a knockdown, if somebody performs a knockdown move, the opponent who got knocked down has a certain amount of time to stack up their wound cubes, and if they successfully stack them up, they survive the knockdown, and they take some of those get taken away. But if it they don't or it falls over, they lose. Yeah, that was called knockdown. Mm-hmm. Knockout. Knock down. No. Awaken, <laughs> awaken, <laughs> awaken realms. Awaken realms. Awaken realms. Awaken realms. Light. Fun game. At any rate. Okay. Um, so, like, all the pieces, though. Like, just pick a game, like, here's Wormspan. Stack everything. Yeah. Good luck with those eggs. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, like, that's the thing, right? Like, what game do you think? Would be a good competition game for that. Just How about you get into a, a dexterity game? How just about like, you get like a three by th- you get a three by no. three calyx, right? Yep. 
and then there's a sheet. Three, two, one. You lift the sheet. It's a bunch of random games, and whoever can like organize the fastest. Oh, work. <laughs> like yeah. you have to. Okay, here's the thing, right? You have a calyx. You have a, a three by three. You said, yeah. You have a three by three. You have four hundred games. Right? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like you have a lot of games. Who can put all of those games in the three by three? You have to organize the quickest, the highest cumulative rating. I guess it would be the lower number. You have like four hundred games to choose from. You got run to a pile, and then run bring the game back, and then put it there. Right? Like if I put brass on my shelf, that's one point, and then someone else grabbed. Pandemic, because that's number three or whatever. I don't know. That one's kind of tough. Oh, so you want the lowest points? Yeah. Oh, so you're trying to, like, it's your knowledge. It's a knowledge. It's a quiz as much as it is a competition of... A little bit, yeah. Well, and if you're taking turns, it's it's just knowledge. Well, no, not turns. Oh, no, it's yeah. like speed. Running back and forth. Okay, all right. Yeah, okay. And, his, and the thing is, right, like... Uh, it's big as fuck, man. Do we say you're allowed to carry multiple things? No. No, right? One game, one, one, one game, one go. Too strong. No, because it's. I mean, that's you just got to keep it. You know, that's where yeah. the speed comes into play, right? Yeah, it's not how much you can carry. Point games. Yeah. <laughs> just because. Well, no, they kind of sit. There's only a few of them. I feel like that sit up in the in the couple hundreds. So the problem though is, is that you'd have to have to. So like, if you got, how would that work though? You'd have to go. You'd have to assign inverse points for them. And the reason for that is because like. Let's say I get five games and I get, let's say, you know, one, two, three, four, and five, yeah. right? And you get 10 games, right? Or even if I, let's say I got one, 10, 11, 12, 13, and you got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you got more games than I did that were all lower, but I got higher ones. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that's what creates that problem. So, but if like if you had 25 games to choose from, or a hundred, right? The number one game is worth a hundred points. The number two game is worth ninety nine points, so on and so forth. Or what if it's all just score wins. like the weirdest boxes ever made for games? Banana grams. And you have to put, you have to just see how many you can fit on your shelf. Mm. Or you know what? Tetris. Smaller scale. There's a table, sheet in front of the table. Three, two, one. Sheet lifts up. It is a game box. Just a, it's a game box, random game box. You don't get choice, with all of the pieces out, and you have to gotta put it away. Got to put it away. Hold on, but obviously, like there would be a penalty if you just like. Well, no, because box got to be flush, right? But box has to be. You flush. know what you do? You pick a freaking Devere game. You like oh White fuck, Castle or dude. something, dude. You got to be surgical. You have to be surgical yeah. with those boxes. You know. Okay, so that's that would be a good way to make up for it. As I say, like. You could do stuff with inserts or whatever. So they got to know what you got to like yeah. experiment where it goes. Oh, same idea. So you get a fucking seam on uh, oh, one God. of the <laughs> Like you get like the plastic thing oh, that holds all the miniatures. The mold. Oh, and the mold fuck, for the miniatures. <laughs> and it's just, it's one of the ones where every miniature is different. Yeah. Oh, and they're all shit. specifically like, molded. Yeah. It's the, uh, like the, like the, the Kickstarter exclusives box that everything is different or whatever. And you have to fit. Everything in its spot. I'm horrified already <laughs> just thinking about that. Oh, that'd be good. We gotta, we gotta, don't you have the commit thing? What? Do you have the commit mini box or are they not? We gotta find some way to do this. I wanna do this as as content. If you guys are watching and you wanna participate, comment in the just video. Fucking bring Rising Sun. <laughs> do you have, are they all unique? No. No. What about that? Like other a box? monster, the like one of the monster, monster boxes. boxes. Monster boxes are all unique. And we time everybody. Well, the problem is, is that once you see it, we can't like, watch each other. Well, no, they won't watch. Like you would just record the one person doing their thing. I'm not gonna lie. I also, don't want you fucking on my shit. <laughs> oh, that's true. Someone, someone just like <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's You're gonna true. come back. Godzilla's tail is missing. It's just like <laughs> I forgot it would it'd be like potentially damaging. Yeah, you know, it's gonna be a no for me, Doug. No, I totally get it. I totally get it. Maybe Enrique, if. Uh, maybe he'll let us borrow some of those games that are in the library that are kind of beat up already. Yeah. We'll see. What else? What if you just, pl- like... That was a really 
That's a really good idea. Just play a game. I don't know how like <laughs> no play a game and win. <laughs> no. Oh, because the only way that ha- that could happen, you know, the World Series board games, whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm. Every country has one, and then that winner goes and competes, and then they do like tournament style, like brackets. Fucking, what's the what's how many the countries game? compete in the Olympics? Hundreds. A lot. A uh, hundreds of them. Hundreds. There's oh. hundreds of countries. <laughs> There's over a hundred. Name ten books. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, the table's walking away. <laughs> Not hundreds. Over a hundred. Name name twenty countries. You're a historian. You want me to Dude, name twenty countries? Stop, don't do Canada, this. United States, oh my God. Mexico, I I start singing. Belize, yeah, fucking Guatemala, Guatemala, what's his name? Honduras, El Salvador. Uh, why are you naming a bunch of Spanish Nicaragua. countries? Nicaragua. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, uh, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Chile, Argentina, Brazil, Suriname, French Guiana, Guiana, Venezuela. You can't just do two. You can't just say one is, is a, a different Guinea? language of the other one. You can't just They're be like, different countries. You can't just say there's <laughs> Guiana and French Guiana are two totally it's different just countries. It's just Guiana with a handlebar mustache. <laughs> Jamaica, Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic, <laughs> Trinidad and Tobago, Antigua, oh, United National. States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, <laughs> Jamaica, Peru. <laughs> what? Republic Dominican. That's copyrighted. Iceland, Finland, and no, I'm just Greenland, you know. El Salvador, too. Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's, it's Yako. Puerto Rico's a part of the United what? States, but it's Yako from uh. Animaniacs, because uh, country songs. I don't. Hey, I'll clip. I'll, there's going to be a clip here. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's crazy that you'd know that. Not the whole thing. Just up to what I just say. <laughs> you got a good chunk of them, though. Dude, that was Central almost all American the countries. countries. <laughs> that was almost all the countries. Oh, I forgot Paraguay and Uruguay. Dude, Uruguay. <laughs> a speed painting. <laughs> oh, so that's already that's a thing, subjective. Isn't it? Not in the Olympics. No, I mean, but <laughs> don't they do? I mean, I guess they do some of these things as competitions already, like to, like board game, like yeah. whatever. But like, I don't know enough. You get, like, you they get do like the Golden ass Demon, Cthulhu right? made uh, Death May Die, fucking yeah. thing, and you got to paint it. Yeah, but yeah. then it, you're right; it's 100 percent subjective, yeah. right? But so. they're, they're all, dude. But but is it speed painting, or so you give them like you have an hour to paint this? Go. Maybe Ooh, maybe it's speed know. painting, and you have a format to follow. Everyone has an image. I guess at that point, the top level painters are going to be able to just follow it, you know. I think you'd be better off. I mean, it would be hundred percent subjective, right? This is going straight into the art category. Um, but yeah, I would, I would miniature painting, where you could be like, "Hey, like you have a, you have a based model. Like you're allowed to choose your base, like prime it, so that way mm-hmm. the fucking paint sticks." Um, and then you get thirty minutes to paint it or whatever. This year's Olympics brought to you by Simon <laughs> Games Workshop or no art. No, no <clears throat> subjectiveness. It's just like, who's gonna, who's it gonna be? You get right. You're standing there. Box, 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 box. First person to fucking fall or tip or whatever. <laughs> who can hold? Who can? Who can last long? Oh, so just here, like, like you start out with like, here's Gloomhaven. <coughs> That's just a strongman that, tournament, on, though. It is not really. Yeah. It's like balancing. It's a strongman too. tournament. Hey. What if it's Don't what if it's, weak. what if it's not like a pyramid though? It's like different shaped games. Ooh. You can't hold the pyramid like on top of each other. Like it's not like big box. You saying my boy Dwayne can't hold a fucking pyramid up? It's not like it's the not pyramid? big box, and then it like yeah gradually goes up. It's like fucking. It's oh no hey it's, it's, it's it, it, gloom. It, no no all right here's how we do it. <clears throat> then this is a team it's game. A, no it's startups. No this is teams and the boxes get bigger. <laughs> 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 it's a team game, right? So one person is the holder. The other person Ooh. is the stacker. Ooh. Every game has a different value, right? And the weirder shit has a higher value, smaller things potentially or whatever. And like you have to, like you have to make a rule where like, like you throw the chicken can on there. Yeah, that's got to be a good amount. Again, of points. like bananagrams or whatever, or what's that game that's a shape of a pizza or whatever? Yeah, right. Those types of things. And the rule is is that every the next game has to be on top of the game before it. 
Yeah. So you can't like stack side to side. Right. I can't just take here's Gloomhaven and then put like 20 small boxes on top of yeah, it. Yeah. That are all the same. Like you get all yeah. the oink boxes yeah. and that's 20 <laughs> games lined up, right? Oink getting shouted out today. Hey. <laughs> we didn't even talk about the time we played Scout. You know what? We we're thinking about like World Series board games to get finalists from every country, right? Yeah. What game is it? Brass. Because it's number one. Oh, it's got to be a is two that player. How we, is it's that two player? player? Uh, it's got to be two War player. War of the Ring. It has to be two player. I feel like think? it has to be two player. War of the Ring. <laughs> is that, not that game? Player? It is. Seven Wonders Duel. Fucking long all shit. expansions. Twilight Imperium. Two player. What? No. That Twilight Struggle. I'm sorry. That's what I was thinking of. Dice Throne. Twilight Struggle. <laughs> Dice Throne. A bit of luck in there. Mr. President. Oh my! Imagine a Dice Throne. <laughs> imagine an Olympic Dice Throne. 16 player free for all. God damn. See, no, that's the problem. See, that's why that's why I think it has to be two player because also, you have to be able to Or what if it's like a team game and who can beat it the fastest? Like uh Here's the thing, the, like the 100 meter sprint, yeah. right? They run but it's like heat. it's like it's what's not relatable. What's the word I'm looking for? Um where like everybody can grasp it. <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? Um comprehensible? Like For like like, like pandemic, uh, cooperative? No, like where like a family could understand like what they're Simple. doing. Yeah, damn, sure. that's offensive, dude. That's not the word I'm looking for, though. I can't, <laughs> I can't think of it. I don't know what's going on. What are you trying to convey without that word? Like the like, game you're saying that should be played for the world championship should be this type of game. Yeah, this is the a, world champion gold medalist. A game that can like anyone can play. Catan. Yeah, so you something, wanna, you something give to where like board game gold medal based off of it not, Hey, you want trio. Not fucking not fucking not TI. A, the a, rapper? A, a family can't sit there and be like, oh, this is TI. Hey, this Look isn't that. this isn't for the family. Yeah, also for, <laughs> I don't I don't comprehend <laughs> anything about the like like certain Olympics. Like why do I care about someone running with a pole and then launching themselves? Did you guys see that one over a wall? He no. broke the world record, dude. Did, no, Very, did, did you nut, guys the nut guy? <laughs> no, it's schlong. Yes. <laughs> did you see that he got offered uh, a quarter million dollar deal from a uh, uh, an adult company? Hey, Jesus. well, there was that. Uh, there was that. Um, I think runner. I think Canadian runner who uh, apparently has an uh, OnlyFans account. And uh, I guess this caused a stir because uh, I think she was like twerking after winning something or whatever. <laughs> so I'm just saying, there's like, there's clearly some people classy. out there. I mean, this is also the you know the Olympics and they make the um, the beds that are supposed to be in the ones that you can't. Yeah, you know, you the know? cardboard ones. Yeah, the ones that there's ads about that. It's like, look at how much weight these can hold. Have you seen them? Yeah, I mean, I've seen also just like the Olympic the Olympians like in them being like jumping on them. I'm like. Just make sure that your home is zero percent humidity, <laughs> you know. And these cardboard boxes, speed beds. sleeving, ooh, ooh, sleeving Arc Nova and all expansion cards. We'll be sitting there for three hours. <laughs> but back to the point about like the world game. I think it's got to be a two player, right? Symmetric game, so there's no advantage, no disadvantage. So I don't know how you do that. I don't. I mean, because you're talking about like chess, right? Basically, is what you're you're boiling it down to. But it'd be a board game that's not chess. Brass two players. No, because the the problem is is that a player can make the claim. So any I accessible. Think, no, it's not even about accessibility. That was the word. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I think the problem is is that anything like that where luck becomes a factor, like people would just have a problem with, right? Mm. Because like if you get dealt Birmingham and they get dealt. Birmingham Wolf, is, Wolf is the top draw. Like, if you get Whatever. that in your opening hand. Yeah. Like, you people could be like, oh, man, I can't get my strategy to work. But they drew the right cards, and their strategy works. And, yeah, I don't know. I just don't know enough. Like, it's one of those things like, hey, you know, the better player will adapt. But, so, but if you're talking about Olympic quality people, like, everybody, those advantages, I think, would become more uh, obvious. I also feel like it's the same thing where, you know, in one of the art category things, like their subjective scoring anyway, that's a little bit luck. Like this person prefers the way that this style goes, right? And that's just who happened to be the judge in this Olympics. Like, I don't know. 
Yeah. I don't I don't know enough about Olympic judging for art stuff. I assume they have some kind of like rubrics where they're like, hey, like if you're diving, you know, more flips, more good. Right. <laughs> more flips, less splash. <laughs> right. Yeah. Best. Like whatever. And they've probably got some kind of I don't want to call it a formula, but I'm sure there's some kind of like vague rubric where it's like, hey, this gives us. But I'm just yeah, I don't know. I think. You'd have to pick a two-player game. AI is going to take over scoring. Yep. It's going to be three GoPros pointed at their pool. <laughs> I mean, AI can and cameras can replace like umpires and judges in most games already. Yeah, but they don't because tradition. Yeah, because the, the they want to see the guy go. Oh! Yeah. Well, you could still have the guy there to like read the computer and be like, "Oh, it's a, he's out." Who are you going to yell What's at? The symbol. Can't yell at that's a true. Camera. Then we get no coach and you umpire. You're arguments. telling me you don't yell at your Alexa. Imagine the coach oh. with his mouth with like twelve gums in it, just yeah, at the camera. Right? <laughs> you know? Or they come, they like they put a a, fee, a feed in the camera that's watching. So like when they yell at it, it's like they're yelling at you. Yeah. On the screen, you're like motherfucker. Get know. that old school music video, like in the camera. <laughs> you know, it's ludicrous <laughs> music video. <Yeah. laughs> Dang, where is little Chris? Fast and Furious 18. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm, what else? I don't know. I think there has to be... Do we count design? Does design matter at all? No. No? I mean, that's... There's just, just pure, too many games. That's just pure art at this point. If that's pure, pure art, art. And that's like... So that's just the people, right? It's like, what do you like? What you don't like, right? <clears throat> like somebody can say, hey, this is... I don't like this aspect. I don't like somebody could be like fucking crazy person and be like, I don't like worker placement games. It's also hard because you, you that can person never, would also be a loser and wouldn't be our friend. That's true. You can never um, like, oh, I have heard of this game and these other three people haven't. Right. So you have, yeah. you have, you've, you've seen a 30 second clip of someone like they have the game on the table and they go, this is blah, 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 blah. That's an advantage over the other people in yeah. a game, like in a, Olympic event of like, open the box, set it up, set up a three player game, right? What if? Ooh, what if? Set up a three player game, right? And it, it's timed, right? But if you have seen a thirty second video and no one else has, right? That's yeah, some match. kind of. So it, all the games for the Olympics have to be specially designed for the Olympics. Yeah. Never been, never been played before, never been seen except for by Dude. a top secret Olympics council. We that do play the, test we them. do the thing. <laughs> Where you get a box in front of you, you open it, you got to figure out how to play it. Oh, that one, yeah. No rule book. Yeah, you literally no just you are given the game components, and you just have to you 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 get like thirty minutes to try and set to just it up. like to put to do whatever, and then you have to and tell the judge teach, how they play it. You teach it, and then again then you like, have like points. Yeah, exactly. Like you got this rule right. You got this rule right. Whatever. Extra yeah. points if you got you you figured out that like oh it wouldn't make sense for someone to be able to do this twice in one turn so like you go oh by the way I just want to say like you can't take this action twice in a turn you just and that's bonus like, points if you can figure out who goes first hey hey guest judge Rodney oh dude <laughs> Rodney Smith that'd be fucking sick that'd be awesome I'd be scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like master class teacher over here. It'd be it'd be Rodney, John Kitts Games, and the whole time. The who's whole the Who's the third guy? Gaming rules? No. Paul Grogan. Rado. He's got the. He's the British guy. Pa Paul Grogan is one. Is a. I think he's British. You talking he's about the one from older. Maple University? Uh uh. No, he's a little bit older. He got gray hair. I, I just watched. Paul, I, I watched the one this? for Rococo. If you Gaming rules. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, it's, that's Paul Grogan. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Big fan of your videos, rib, 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 rib. Paul. If you ever see this, those are the three judges. All right. Same with you, John. Gets games. I really like your videos, and obviously Rodney. Everybody loves Rodney. Everyone, you know. <laughs> I started. I started off of your videos, but did we all? I think so. I think so. Okay. I think that's we all good. looked up how to play Pandemic, and <laughs> Rodney with the beautiful mm. smile just sitting there. Oh, he's Tossing staring at you the whole time. With a box just spinning in the air right here. Have you, just he, started, he started doing this. And I was like, when I first saw the video that where he did that, I was like, Rodney. 
How about Ooh, that how about box flipping? Ooh, how many rotations you can get and a perfect and catch. still yeah. catch it. So you get like one point for a single. You get three points for a double. And you get like ten points for a triple. Here's the thing, too, is like, did you catch Risky. the same corner that you launched exactly. from? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so you minus points if you miss. So like that's one like tiebreaker. Yeah, has to be upright. Eight spin. Eight point. Mm -hmm. Eight point. Seventy five. Everybody right? from the same corner. Yeah. Well, so here's what you do. So you do and two points. It's shrink wrapped. Everything is in there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and you got strong and ass fingers. And it's <laughs> <laughs> It's, uh, yeah. it's actually TI. Oof. Oh and, my god! And a rectangle box. You can't even not grab it, dude. You, not a square. You cannot grab that. Maybe you can. Tainted I cannot. grail, dude. Yeah, the the box is too thick. That's what she said. Ew. You get more points if it's an oblong box. Title also, blades. You get to pick your bike. You Title box. blades. Box. Get to pick your box. Oh, the the length of the box is the multiplier on the Ooh. rotations. All right. Heck yeah. I don't we realize you bought this. Yeah, man. Olympics committee. Beyond the sun. I Come can't on. wait to play it again. You got breakdancing in there. Come on now. You can get us in there. No right. no disrespect to breakdancers. You can also, do better than I Also, I'm going to be the new super IOC honest. International Oblong community. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Every single thing that we've talked about, I'd probably be terrible at. <laughs> you think so? Oh, I'd be terrible. Speed painting? Speed painting? Oh, you would beat no. us. No. You would beat us at that. Okay, well, yeah, I didn't sure. realize I was doing special. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. um, and with that, <laughs> we'll end this episode and, uh, you know, maybe the show. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining. If you made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe. That really gives us the good fifis when we see that number go up. The good fifi. Yeah. <laughs> um, follow us on Instagram too. Board and scale, mom queasy, and heavyweight gaming with some periods in there. You'll see them down in the description. I'll put them all there. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye. <laughs>